How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can download a VPN. Now, this is a super simple process. How do you install it? How do you download it? There's nothing complicated about that. So first of all, you want to choose a reputable VPN. Now, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord and Surfshark. All these VPNs vary in budgets and features, so you can pick and choose depending on your specific situation and your own needs and budget. Express is going to be the best of the best overall. It's the most reliable, consistent, and easiest to use. NordVPN is more of a well-rounded option that gives you a whole bunch of bonus features that can be very useful. So it's a lot of bang for the buck and a whole lot of value, of course, for the money. Surfshark is going to be the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the necessary security features, such as the kill switch, split tunneling, and any of the other features that uh, you may need with a premium VPN. So how do you download any of these? Well, you can click the link in the description down below for an exclusive discount and get whatever plan you want to get, depending on what you're looking for. Of course, um, the longer term plan, the cheaper it's going to be. Or if you want to download the VPN first, although you're not really going to have access to it, but still just click the link in the description if you want to apply the coupon code. And then you can go to download, whether it's Surfshark, uh, NordVPN, or ExpressVPN, pick your device, download the file itself. And then once you've subscribed, um, you can just log in using your credentials. Of course, once you click uh, download, you'll have the file running right here. So just open the exe file and follow the instructions. Just pretty much hit next until you reach the user interface. It's very straightforward. Once you're with the user interface right here, all you need to do is pick your preferred server and you'll be good to go. So as you can tell, I'm connected to the French server right here. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. Let's say in this case, I want to use a different server. So let's just go to VPN locations. Let's say I just downloaded the VPN. Again, this is the user interface. The only difference is that you're not going to have any uh, in the recent locations right here. You're just going to have the smart location, which is what ExpressVPN thinks is the best one for you. So let's say I want to connect to an American server. In this case, I can go ahead and click on the United States and it will select the nearest one automatically, which will be New York. Or I can just click on the arrow next to uh, the country and pick one myself. Let's just go to Atlanta, for example. And when I'm connected to Atlanta, if I want to double check, I can just go to my IP finder. Let me just show you guys how you can uh, do that. So I can just go to the IP finder. You can use any IP finder, really. It doesn't matter. It'll say that I'm in Atlanta and everything that is exclusive to Atlanta or the United States, for that matter, I will also have access to it simply because I'm connected to a reputable VPN through their reliable servers. So that's pretty much it. Again, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews. If you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And of course, they're all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.